Oh. I won. Ah, felt good. Got that one back, boys. I've been saying it for three and a half years. That one didn't count. Should have never counted. It was bullshit. It was a fluke. And then I went out there and 40, 20, and ate him. So it's like, uh, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, we can all agree on that. That's nice. Yeah, and, and all the people that are like, man, he's going to gas out in, in, in five rounds. He's going to gas out. Literally put the pace on him and actually just broke him. Physically broke down his body. Stayed at range the whole time. Or was making him guess the whole time. He couldn't set up any of his, his KO shots that he set up on these other guys. It almost like, it made him look you made him look bad. You made him look very tough, like he has a lot of heart, but on another level, skill-wise, speed-wise, everything, and it's exactly what we knew. Yeah, people are saying it's the Moutinho 2.0, uh, so that's good. It was so weird, and I was telling you this the other day. I never told anyone that. When I was leading up to fight week in the fighter hotel, it was the COVID hotel, I was reading the Striking Thoughts book, the Bruce Lee one, and I read this thing that made me, it was some, I don't know if it was like about losing or about something about, some, it was something that gave me a weird feeling that I've never had going into a fight. I didn't say anything to anyone because I was like, see, yeah, I was like, all right, that's not true. But I had a weird feeling and then I go into that fight and lose the way I did. I was like, what the fuck? That was so weird. But then this fight just felt so fucking confident that everything just was going to go fucking so perfect. Yeah, and even I mean, you're up up four rounds to O on the guy, and you're still you could have you could have very easily like I didn't want to give him any chance at winning. You could have yeah. very easily bounced around, thrown a few punches in that fifth round, uh, but you sat there and traded with him and kept and kept trying to put it on him, and that's really the reason you got hit with that little liver shot at the end. Ow! Yeah, I wanted to fucking put his lights out. It still doesn't feel feels very satisfying. Don't get me wrong, but nothing like finishing someone fuck putting their lights out you know that there's just nothing like that so i was really to the end trying to put his lights out and uh yeah that, what did it feel like what did it feel like when that knee landed on his face it, it was i actually felt gross i'm like i i instantly thought it broke it, it shattered his nose i told you that in the, going yeah. into the second round i said i think i broke his nose but i, I think it was his orbital um, I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything other than he went straight to the hospital. No media. Um, yeah, that's, I'm sure he's feeling pretty fucked up right now. Yeah. Other than that, I was talking about earlier. We have our routines at home, our sleep, everything so perfect. And then we come on fight week and it gets all messed up. It's a new bed. There's, there's different noises. You don't, we don't have our cold and our hot plunge and it gets thrown off. But, uh, we just got our own fight week dialed though. Fight week schedule routines. It's fucking just stro dialed. 